Oh yes, we're back. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Or if you are new here, then welcome. Very good to see you. We are back up and running. And as promised, I have stayed away from any trailer to do with the PlayStation reveals, basically. Some of them are exclusives. Some of them are going to PlayStation and PC, which you you like to see it. You like to see it. Um, I put a poll up. The other day, just asking if you guys thought God of War, the franchise, would be coming to PC. Some of you not so sure. Some of you sure. I don't know. I don't know. I'm undecided myself. I would like to think they would. I would like to think they would, simply going off of one thing and one thing only. Apparently, the exclusives were going to be Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and Spider-Man. However... Apparently, Knights of the Old Republic, the special edition, is only a PlayStation exclusive and that the base game is, is going to be available on PC. Maybe maybe Xbox? I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not Xbox. I'm not sure. Sony are usually pretty hostile to Xbox, but allow PC, which is kind of strange because, I mean, Microsoft own, you know, Mostly all the PCs and, and Xboxes, but hey, here we are. It's weird. Either way, I have really been looking forward to God of War Ragnarok, so we're jumping straight into this reaction. I haven't seen it. I've seen, I think, some of the characters when I was um, on Facebook. I was looking through some scrolling through, and as you see, I think Sony put some pictures, just like some slides of the characters. I'm excited with what I've seen so far, and we're going to talk about it because four looks insane and he looks exactly like you would expect him to look in the mythology and from a Norse point of view. Norse, mytholo Norse mythology point of view. Yeah, looks very similar. I'm excited. I have played the first one. So I've played, well, well, I say the first one, the one that came out on PS4, possibly it came out on PS5 as well, or was it originally PS3? No, I think it was PS4. Very good game. Very, very good game. Um, and if you guys haven't played it, I recommend you do uh, if it comes to pc maybe we'll do a playthrough of the first one again before we jump into ragnarok maybe it's wishful thinking if it does come to pc i'd like to hope so but um yeah incredible game um spoiler alert so if you haven't played it skip this part maybe about a minute or so in and then we'll be fine but at the end of the previous game you were able to go back to your sort of house where it all started uh, at the beginning and Go to go to sleep, and I think you kind of have a bad dream, and suddenly Ragnarok is upon you, and the man himself, Thor, is outside. At least that's that's what we got from it. He had the hammer on his holster, the electric flowing through his fingertips is very cool ending to the game, and really brought in a good juncture into this one, God of War Ragnarok. I'm excited, super excited. This this I was buzzing when the announcement came, absolutely buzzing. Oh, it already looks beautiful again. Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> oh, wow. He's like a teenager. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimblewinter leads to Ragnarok. Ooh. War is coming. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with God. I don't want to fight anymore. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard? Maybe that's what Mother wanted. We do not know what Mother wanted. Well, I don't recognize that dour expression anywhere. Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. What if there was someone who could help us? You mean Tyr, the old god of war in these lands, who is dead? Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. If he's out there, we gotta find him. Come in! What in all yarns be the happen to oh. We're trying to stop Ragnarok, to help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? War is not the only way. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general! No! 
You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Oh. Are you a calm and Is that reasonable false? person? In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. Tear! Are you coming with us? <laughs> He's a giant. enough well some of them okay look i'm not even going to begin to go into the intricacies and details of norse mythology because i am not in the slightest educated on the topic so it's not going to happen but holy fuck that was everything i wanted and more that was no in fact it was more than what i wanted it looks amazing it looks incredible coming to PlayStation consoles, so I wonder if it'll be on the PlayStation 4, because I have one of those. Because I'm not getting a PS5. I just, I don't think I'll ever get a PS5. But I like the fact that it's just so familiar to the previous game, and I think that was what was going to happen anyway, right? I think that was always going to be the case, because in the original, I keep saying the original, but I don't mean like the old, old games. I mean the game previous to this one that came out a couple of years ago. When you went on to the and I'm going to butcher it. I'm going to butcher every name I try to put towards it. So I do apologize. When you went to teleport to different areas, there were ones on there that you could select, but they were locked out. I think they're now available, or they will be available in God of War Ragnarok, but it's obviously coming as an entirely new game rather than DLC, which is extremely impressive and going to be absolutely amazing some new creatures some new monsters can be new combos probably some new weapons i would imagine some new runes just lots of new effects everything um it's cool to see a Astra Astra what is how do you pronounce it it's not is it atreus astreus atreus i think it's atreus 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 astreus astreus <laughs> i think um Quite the glow up, he's obviously in his teenage years, more than younger years. Got a bit of a raspy voice now. I'm sure he's a lot more powerful. Whether he's learnt to control that power? Who knows? Who knows? Um, from what we saw at the end of the previous game, and I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who is watching, but I think we know who uh, Astraeus actually is. Or Atreus. Atreus? <laughs> but yeah it's going to be incredibly cool especially with the way the previous game left off how some of those characters are going to come into the fight it's going to be awesome i mean we saw one of them there when he was on the chariot as well or the sort of sleigh with the dogs i mean i can't wait to see how that story plans out and to see all of the other characters it's going to be absolutely incredible didn't actually see a proper view of four um i'll put a picture up so there he is that is him in the game and uh a lot of people are surprised that he's quite um, well-rounded, shall we say, okay? A lot of people are expecting him to be muscular and kind of like a Chris Hemsworth, the Avengers Marvel kind of four. Now, this four in God of War is very, very on point with the Norse mythology. I know that much for certain. And if you think about it, Eddie Hall, the world's strongest man, Hasn't got a grip, a, you know, a huge six pack, isn't really muscular in terms of stature, isn't quite restricted in his weight. He's actually more rounded and has a lot of power from that. And uh, yeah, four is going to be one to mess with, so it's going to be interesting to see as well. But thank you so much for joining me. We are going to be reacting to the rest of the games coming from that PlayStation event, apart from a few that maybe I'm just not personally interested in. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to God of War Ragnarok. I am looking forward to God of War Ragnarok because I would love to film it and sort of do a playthrough of it with you guys um, for the first time. But hey, we will see what happens. We will see what happens. I think the God of War IP is so strong, like that franchise, that brand is so strong on the PlayStation side. Sony do run the risk of, I think, losing 
a lot of people from the whole PlayStation experience if they were to bring it to PC. Do I think it's going to happen? I don't know. I don't know. At least not for a good few years. A good few years. So we'll see. We will see. But um, either way, I can't wait for this to come out. I can't wait to get my hands on it and play it, but I don't know what that's going to look like. Let me know in the comments what you think of God of War Ragnarok, guys. Are you excited? What do you think? Let me know, and I will see you very, very soon in the next reaction or video. Take a look at the channel, see what you think. Subscribe if you want to. It's up to you. Enjoy having you on board. But thank you very much. Take care. Stay safe. And bye-bye.